Welcome to Romany's Realm, I'm Romany. Today I'm doing some sketching in my sketchbook. Based on the oracle card that you can see there, I pulled the Embrace Your Sensitivity card, which I struggled with a little bit because yeah, it's a deer. Deer are a little bit wishy-washy for me, just not that kind of a person. But when it comes to sensitivity, I could get on board with spiders, which was a suggestion from one of my patrons. So I decided to draw a new version of the card using a spider. So heads up for those of you who are arachnophobes, you might not want to watch this. <laughs> but it is a cute jumping spider, so hopefully you'll be okay. You can see there on the left that I have just quickly sketched out a thumbnail of how I want the layout to look on the page. I'm using a picture of a jumping spider. He's very cute. He's, if you've seen uh, Lucas the spider, the little tiny one, then you will be familiar with jumping spiders. They are cute. They are very little things. And you always, people always photograph them up, up close because they are so adorable. And they kind of look, I don't know, less scary up close, I think. I mean, I don't think spiders are scary anyway, but that's me. I'm using various symbology here for the spider. You can see I'm just sketching him out with my Pilot Colorino in blue on my Strathmore Mixed Media White sketchbook. I am in love with this sketchbook. It's just such nice paper to draw on. Uh, I haven't even really done an awful lot of painting or illustration on it yet. In fact, I think this actually is the first time I did any painting on it. I'm going to go in with watercolour eventually, but this is certainly the first time I've done any proper artwork in it, and I just, I love it. I love it. I love my moleskin for mixed media, for, you know, when you want to do lots of layers and pasting paper and things like that, but this to sketch and draw on is just dreamy. I might, might be a convert. I don't want to get too into detail with the background to it because it's part of a Patreon session that we did last week. But the jumping spider and embracing your sensitivity ties in with uh, my Aquarian sun, hence the jug at the bottom, and also my Cancer moon, which is that big circle thing up at the top. It'll be more obvious when I colour it in. Because the spider sits in his web waiting for something to touch the web and that kind of sets his spidey senses off which is how I've always described my intuitive side it's you know my spidey senses tingle so the the spider became a very obvious choice once somebody said about it so it's really just bringing together a variety of information that I already had from some different cards that I'd drawn. I'd done tarot draw, I'd done some astrology, and then I'd done this oracle card. And it all pointed towards bringing that Aquarius sun, which likes to pretend it doesn't have feelings, and the Cancer moon, which is all about feelings, together to work together, which is something I've always struggled with. But I think 2021 is the year to change that. I keep getting lots of messages about transformation, not change, but transformation specifically. I think this will be a good totem animal, if you like, for me for this year, because, of course, spiders grow and they change and they shed their skin and they transform as they grow. So I think that will be very interesting. So the line work that I did here, I used my Pentel Pocket Brush. I've been trying to get to grips with it. I've tried inking with a brush. I've tried inking with the Pocket Brush pen. I've tried all sorts of different methods of inking. I still prefer using three sizes of fine liner. That's still my go-to method. But I am trying to get the brush look down because I really enjoy it. I love how it looks. I just struggle to control it. And I think that's just practice. So I decided to go in and do some practice with that brush pen because I knew I was going to go in with this black acrylic ink. This is Liquitex black acrylic and fill in the whole background in black. Two reasons. One, Jumping spiders are nocturnal and the moon tends to come out at night. 
also the legend of the star, which is the Aquarius pouring hope back into the waters of mankind, as it were, is a nighttime ritual. In addition, I'm a very dark side person. I'm a goth. I like the nocturnal aesthetic, if you like. I like dark things. So to me, it was fairly obvious that I was going to paint the background black. But also, I've got to make a web. And the easiest way to make a web is to put a web on black. So that's what we're going to do. You won't actually see the web today. I'm only going as far as painting and blocking in the main colours today. The rest of it will be probably quite long-winded, probably very detailed. I've got some white acrylic ink to do over the colour. Then I'm going to go in with colour pencils. I really want to make him look the usual semi-realistic illustration that I like to do, where the rendering is quite realistic, but it's still obviously an illustration. I like that kind of look to things, and I really want to put some effort into making him look really good. And that's not something that I can film, really, because it takes forever. There's a lot of detail that goes in. That's why you're initially just getting the basic blocking in and painting, so you get an idea of what he's going to look like in the end. So once all this black was dry, I decided to go in and put white acrylic on the moon. Partly because I messed up the moon and it was no longer circular, so I needed to rectify that. But also because I had an idea for using some watercolour over the acrylic ink and getting this kind of splotchy effect. It's something I've done before with watercolour over acrylic paint, but I'd not tried it with ink. And I thought this would be a golden opportunity to give it a go because it's only going to be a moon if all else fails. I've got moon stickers, I can just slap a moon sticker over the top of it. I started off using my Daniel Smith and Holbein watercolours. The ooh, Cerulean Blue and Moon Glow and I think I go in with Payne's Grey afterwards and then also use Quinacridon Gold for the jug. So I was trying to keep it very cool toned but I also wanted a little bit of contrast in there with the jug and of course the form and shape of all those legs and the body and head and the jug and the moon that will all come in later when I go into detail with pencil. So all of this purple is going to have white hairs and black detail on it, on it because that's what jumping spiders have. They have black hairs with kind of white bits around the, their edges. They're quite cute if I do say so myself and I just wanted to get the base colours down so I've got something to work over later. That's pretty much it. I think I do go in at one point with some slightly iridescent paint. I use my Mozart paints because I really like their pearlescent colours and I did add that to the fangs because the fangs are actually iridescent and later on there's going to be some interesting colours added in pencil to the head because the head actually has a kind of petrol slick look to it, like a raven has when it catches the sun, that the head of the spider is very much the same. And I want to catch that with some colour pencils. So I added a little bit of shading here with that Payne's Grey just to darken up the main areas so that it would look okay as a watercolour. But obviously it's, it's nowhere near finished. It's nowhere near as detailed as I would normally do it. I have a lot further to go with it. So I think I'm going to see you out from here with a little bit of music from Katie Shesko as I finish off the colouring in process here. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.